Hey there! Welcome back. I'm Al. Today we're going to talk about a pro tip in ZBrush Core Mini. So be sure to subscribe and let's dive right in. Alright, so inside of ZBrush Core Mini, any brush that you pick on the right hand side that is purple or has a purple cursor. Alright, so I'm on the standard brush. This is purple. That means Sculptress Pro is going to work. So I'm going to turn on Polyframe so you can see what's happening. So I'm pulling out my mesh with a standard brush. You'll notice, okay, the polygons change. So if I increase my brush size, whoa, polygons become larger. And if I decrease my draw size, the polygons are itsy bitsy teeny tiny and I have to zoom in to even see them. So they're super dense and that's why they appear black or dark here. So based on my draw size, it's either increasing or decreasing the amount of polygons that I have. That is Sculptures Pro in a nutshell. So the standard brush, clay buildup, pinch, snake hook, H polish, and slash. All of these use that Sculptures Pro. They have the purple cursor. Move and inflate do not. Let's say this was your super cool, crazy character. Yeah. And I want to come in here and add, let's say, some hair detail to this giant lump of a head. What I might do is say, all right, let's grab slash, decrease that draw size. Let's do 11. Just come in here and start sculpting. Look at what's happening. Even if I go slow, I'm not picking up my brush. But what's happening here is ZBrush has these large polygons, since I used a large brush earlier with the snake hook. And it is trying to fill in the gaps for this brush to work. And it's simply just causing a whole lot of errors. So the pro tip to get this to work is to go to your standard brush, turn the intensity all the way down to zero. And I'm gonna bump this up slightly, uh, but it's still small. And what I'm gonna do is start and kind of scribble over this area, wherever I need the detail. So remember, I turned the Z intensity off. So if it were on, it's gonna pull out. But if I set it to zero, it's actually not doing any sculpting, but what it is doing under the surface is adding those polygons. So I'm basically laying the foundation for this detail. So now I have those dense polygons. I'm gonna go to slash, go back down to 11. And now I'm gonna have continuous brush strokes and it is working flawlessly, right? So I don't have any more of these really jagged edges or the stuttering of that line, no dashed lines, but it's actually working. I don't use a standard brush very much at all. So when I hop in ZBrush Core Mini, I'll usually go to standard, crank that down, and I use that solely for just laying the foundation for all my details. Well, thanks for sticking around for this pro tip in ZBrush Core Mini. There'll be more fun to come. Please subscribe.